Good morning. Welcome to the ranch. We've got a lot of work to do today. We've got two goats that are full of milk and uh, one of the moms, we've sold both of her babies, so she's ready to for us to milk her this morning. The other one still has one semi-nursing, so she's kind of drying up, but we wanted to show you what we do and how we go from farm to table. So here we go. So before we go out there, we have to make sure we have the supplies we need. So first of all, we have a stainless steel bucket. Um, this, there's no seams in it at all because it's really important that um, you have a seamless bucket to prevent against any bacteria growth after you um, clean all of your supplies. So that reduces bacteria. Hi Silas. Hi. And then we've got two glass. Um, these are each, these fit about a quart of milk in each one. So it kind of is easy to gauge how much milk you're getting. I can usually fill up maybe one um, per milking session per goat. And then we've got just another stainless steel bucket with soap water, just warm water and a towel. And we'll use this to clean the udder off. And uh, the warm water also stimulates the letdown reflex for the milk to come out a little bit easier. So let's get going. Come on, helper, let's go. <laughs> Let's get some shoes on. Okay, so now we're out in the field. And I'm just scooping up some oats. One of these goats really likes to be milked. The other one doesn't. So we're going to show you on the one that likes to be milked. We build this stand. Well, she's got to do her business first. That usually helps. I don't really want that happening while I'm doing this. Kind of show her it's okay. You're going to get some treats. Come on in. Oh, maybe one today. Come on in, Teeny. Come on in, girl. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. I think she's camera shy. Come on up. And she'll just jump right up. She's such a good girl. She knows she's getting some treats. Took a little coercion to get her up here. I think it's because she separated from her baby right now and she's a little upset about that. Normally we just let them, we just let her baby nurse all day. We really don't get much from her. But um, anyway, now that we have her up here, here is her head inside of this stand. Daddy, I find Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Here's the milking stand that we built. Um, it allows her head to freely move around in there. Her neck isn't tight at all in there. Um, we've got them secured with these little pins. And um, she's just eating her oats. She loves them. And it kind of distracts her. So now that we've got her up here, I've got my soapy water. I'm going to wring out the water. And just kind of wash her wash her off a little bit and I can tell right now she really doesn't have much in there because we haven't had her separated from her baby for a while the other one is full of milk so I can just tell by anyway hopefully we'll get a little out so you can see how we milk her just a little bit more got some Okay. Good job, Steven. Okay, we're ready to go. I'm gonna wipe my hands off. I've already washed my hands. What I do first is I grab up here and I kind of pull down and I just like to clear out the milk ducts. Get some of that soap off. Just give it a little squirt and then I just go back and forth. And the motion I'm doing is kind of a rolling motion and I start up top and kind of pull down and it fills up the, uh, fills it up so I can just kind of squeeze it out. And I can tell you right now, we're not going to get much from her. She's already, I'll bump the bag to try to stimulate milk let down, but 
She's holding it back for her baby too. I can I can tell. She hears her baby crying in in the barn. But anyway, this is how we do it. We're gonna get a lot more from the other goat. See, we really didn't get much from her at all. But the other goat needs um she needs these things, which are um they go up on her, the top of her leg, and they just kind of keep her secure. They don't hurt her or anything, but they just keep her from kicking me and kicking the bucket of milk, too. She's a little bit more feisty than this one. This, one's, this one normally just climbs right up and lets me milk her as long as it needs to go on for. But anyway, maybe I'll show you. If we can get the other one up here, I'll show you what the other one does for me. So. Got it? Okay, so we have our other girl up here. This is Tiny. Teeny was the first one. This is Tiny. Um, we can definitely tell just by looking and by feeling that she's got a lot of milk to give us. She's going to fill up that whole bucket and then some. I know it. So I'm just washing her off right now. We've got these things on her legs that keep her from kicking. Um, sometimes she'll sit down. <laughs> She'll sit down or kind of try to move just because she's very stubborn. She'll kind of move over to one side or the other. But um, just kind of have to expect that and uh, be ready to move the bucket when she uh, is about to do something crazy. So again, just like the other one, I like to clear out. See what I mean? <laughs> you got to expect it. Clear out the duct. Yeah, she is so... She is, um, she's engorged for sure. She's, she's very, she's in pain actually. She's in pain for sure. So let's help you feel better. This is for your own good, girl. I promise. See, when she's, when she kind of dances around like that, I just like to hold the bucket. And she'll poop, but you know, that goes the other way. So it's no big deal. We always wash off this table at the end with the soap water so if um, the goat is kind of acting up I'll just use one hand one hand to milk the other hand to secure the bucket and um, I'll ask my little helpers to get me more oats if we start getting low because our main goal is to just keep her happy comfortable and full of good oats so she doesn't have any reason to remember what's going on. Girl, this is going to make you feel better, I promise. And just look at the froth in this bucket. It's the prettiest milk. It's so white. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous milk. We're going to make some goat cheese with this for sure. I'll... The holidays are coming, Thanksgiving is coming, but I can't wait. I gotta make some right now. This is too I'm getting so much milk right now, especially from Tiny. Look at this. I mean, it's just pouring out of her. So this one side is getting cleared out. I'm so glad I brought my extra glass containers because I'm gonna have to pour this bucket out soon. You might be wondering Can why I am I? Goat poop. Don't touch goat poop. We'll have to wash your hands. Um, one reason why I use such a small bucket, or the main reason why, is because these are Nigerian dwarf goats. They're very short, and um, anything bigger than this would be really difficult to fit underneath her. So I'm gonna clear this bucket out because I'm afraid she's gonna kick this. Here's all this delicious milk. It's unfiltered, so we'll bring it inside to filter it. There you go, Sai. Give her some alfalfa. Good job, buddy. There's my one bucket. That is so sweet. Hey, give her all that alfalfa on the ground. Yeah, give it all to her. She'll I'm like that. Kind of pet her, make her feel like she's okay. Oh, there you go. Pain. She needs this. She is so engorged. Why don't you guys get her? Tell me about, tell me about your eggs, Stephen. Good girl. 
turtle. I found one and I found one too. Can I see your eggs? Whoa, that's a lot in there. What kind of eggs are those? Duck eggs and chicken eggs. Duck eggs. That's duck. Okay, so now we're done milking. Pretty much the majority of this, I would say 95% of this is from the one that was kicking me the most. Um, she doesn't have any babies anymore, so she doesn't have anyone nursing from her. Um, but she did dry up. We kind of let her dry up because um, we just let her exclusively milk uh, or nurse while her babies were here. We would just milk her on occasion. So this is about every 24 hours we get about um, a quart and a half or a, a jar plus another half of a jar from just one goat. So now we'll go inside and we'll show you the rest of the process. Thank you. Thank you, girl. Um, squirt off our solar panels. Look at how dusty they are. Yeah. trick is yeah. petting her head. Having oh. someone pet her head while the other one milks. Back in from milking, we've got the one that we got from this morning, plus the bucket. And I've got another one that we milked uh, two days ago that still needs to be filtered. So I've got my supplies. I've got two clean jugs. Yeah. I've got my um, filter or these that's not my filter this is my um what do you call screen. it screen my screen that goes inside of my funnel and i put that just right on top of here just got that on amazon um we also have milk filters and they're basically kind of like coffee filters i guess but they just fit really easy if you want to get a zoom in i just push it right in and it kind of creates a little fold and it just adds another protection to make it really, really clean and filtered. And I just pour it in real slow. And in goes my filtered, my non-filtered milk, which is being filtered. So I'll take this one too from this morning. It's still nice and warm. There it goes. Now this is filtered, but this is not pasteurized. Um, pasteurizing milk requires bringing the milk up to either, I believe it's 145 degrees Fahrenheit for a while, like 30 minutes or something. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. And then, um, or you could bring it up to 165 degrees for about 15 seconds. Um, I have pasteurized before and uh, it doesn't change the taste or anything. Um, people do say that it does change the consistency of goat cheese. I honestly, I haven't used pasteurized milk to make goat cheese. I've just used unpasteurized. Um, some people say it, it just makes a better goat cheese. So anyway, um, our milk is filtered. Here we go. Screw the tops on. And they're ready for storage. Um, we pop them in the fridge and fairly soon I'll show you how to make goat's cheese using our goat's milk.